Emma Ann Porter was my great-great-grandmother's sister and she was born in 1840 in Wiltshire, England. She was 12 when her family left England for Australia in 1853. James David Phillips emigrated to Australia with his brother in 1853, just three months after Emma and her family. James and Emma were cousins and they married on the 12th of June in 1862. In 1873, James entered the Coastal Lighthouse Service and became a lighthouse keeper at Sandy Cape Lighthouse on Fraser Island. He worked there as an assistant keeper for five years. In 1877, James and Emma were transferred to Busted Head Lighthouse. By 1879, they had six children. It's now 2023 and we're going for a walk up to the lighthouse. Yeah, Kevin said it was very, he, you know, he said it was really well. Stopping for a rest. Yes. You did say there was a bar at the top, didn't you? <laughs> With cold beer. <laughs> Sorry. You Sorry. Live in, you live in hope. Jeez, you got to... On the 14th of October 1879, the Phillips' seven-week-old son Henry died of constitutional weakness. He was buried by his father the next day, about 200 metres west of the lighthouse in a small clearing, the first recorded grave in what was to become the Busted Head Cemetery. There have been so many tragic deaths at this lighthouse. And you know, they've screwed them all since. Yeah.
There is an amazing array of memorabilia and artefacts in this museum. That's a little, that's what you got now. Yeah, it's a bottle. Oh, Gee. Oh, wow. Pretty bright. We saw, it. We saw your light work. Oh, we saw your light. Yeah. And um, I'm not going to be able to find Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And this is the light. Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Busted Head Lighthouse was fabricated in Bridgewater, England and shipped to Australia where it was reassembled at Busted Head. It was constructed using prefabricated segments of cast iron bolted together.
The Ruby Charlotte was built in 1957 by my grandfather Lance Watts and Alec Wright, Watson Wright, in the Brisbane River, from Spotted Gum and Oregon. The 65-footer was originally called Nadine and worked as a Thursday Island pearling lugger for 14 years. A Torres Strait owner bought Nadine and renamed her after his two daughters, Ruby and Charlotte. We had Kevin and Carol come up to the lighthouse with us today. I think they might have enjoyed their trip. It was fascinating, Bustard Head Lighthouse. We um, used it as a navigation mark when we were sailing up here three days ago. So we actually used it as sailors and then to visit it as a historical site was fascinating, wasn't it, Carol? Yeah, it was really wonderful. A really um, impressive lighthouse and the guides were fabulous really um, added to the whole experience. The amount of artefacts they had and memorabilia was amazing and the depth of knowledge. It's a, it's a wonderful um, tribute to the mm -hmm. volunteers yeah. who've, who've mm. done that. I'd also like to thank our tour guide, <laughs> Will and Jill, for taking us up there and giving us all the extra information and yes. being friendly with us and thank you very much. We're getting ready for the predicted big blow from the southeast that's coming up the coast. We've been watching its progress as it heads our way.
Will's just going to help Kevin and Carol on their little yacht Skybird. They need to put another anchor out. <laughs> Some of the gusts were close to 40 knots. Well, we all survived the blow and everyone's anchor held. We're looking forward to a walk to Aircraft Beach and then sailing on to Yellow Patch at the top of Curtis Island. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.